Okay, I have this really unpopular opinion, and I probably shouldn't say it. You're going to disagree with me. Everyone disagrees with me. I mostly keep this to myself. But with this, in this time of isolation, there's all these great live streams that give us a chance to really check out a bunch of original artists, singer-songwriters in this very cool kind of intimate setting. And it's it's this this nice, not exactly silver lining, but this, you know, it's, it's a... It's something good and something bad. So, um, but it has made me think a lot about this opinion I've long held, which uh, bucks the trend, uh, this sort of bedrock piece of advice, this piece of conventional wisdom that uh, has been around for a long time, especially now, um, that has to do with playing covers. And so my unpopular opinion is, if you are an original artist, if you're a singer-songwriter, you should never play covers. Never. And the reason is because uh, contrary to the bedrock advice, the aforementioned conventional wisdom, which is that by playing covers, whether it's on your YouTube channel or at a gig, that's how you engage an audience and draw them in and put them on your side. And then they will focus on your original material. Then they'll become fans of your originals if you draw them in first with covers. Here's the thing. My personal observation, very subjective, just anecdotal to myself, is that what I've observed, both in hearing people, hearing good singer-songwriters, friends of mine, or people I've gone to see, play covers, and also on the rare occasions where I have played a cover, is that it doesn't work that way. The minute you play a cover, the second you play a cover, they stop paying attention to you. They can, they can let up. They don't have to focus. They don't have to pay attention to the words. They don't have to try to figure out what's going on because they know that song. So they can, they, can let, they can let up. And also, that cover just became their favorite song of yours. They don't need to pay attention to your originals anymore because, oh yeah, you, you, play this, you, know, you play this song or that song. That's their new song that they want to hear every time. And so that's contrary to your real goal. Your goal is to... You know, for better, for worse, for whatever it's worth, you're playing what's coming from your heart. You're, you're in this because you want to put yourself out there and uh, make whatever ripple you can in the pond. If you're going to make that ripple, put all the energy into that stone you're throwing in the pond. Don't throw bread to the ducks. Don't just muddy the waters with all, these, all this other just flotsam. Put yourself out there. You know, that's what I want to hear anyway. That's what I'm checking you out for. I want to hear your live stream. I want to hear your songs. You know, and, you know, who am I? What do I know? I'm nobody. I'm a, I'm a very obscure songwriter who's been very obscure for a very long time. And, you know, by all measures, I'm a failure. But, hey, I don't feel like a failure. And I don't think you should feel like a failure. And I don't think you should play covers. So, rant over. Uh, go on about your business and are you going to play covers anyway?